The goal of the CNI prospecting tool for solution providers in the NEO network is to enable solution provider members to identify potential buyers of renewable energy by researching renewable goals and targets and combining that with load and geography as well as PPA announcements from those CNI buyers. On the first page, you can investigate renewable energy targets for companies in the Fortune 500 and RE100. New companies from the RE100 will be added quarterly as they make that commitment. As with all uh, market analytics tools on the NEO network, anything that I click on one of these charts or tables will affect what I see on the others. So for example, on the left, I can say I want to look at companies with a goal 2030 or sooner. And when I click the check mark, everything will filter down. I could similarly say I only want to look at companies with the highest uh, number of companies in those segments. So we'll pick these ones with the red dots uh, at the highest. And from there, it's going to filter down further. On the bottom right, I could choose companies that have a certain percentage of their goal or less met, in this case, 50% or less. That's going to give me a reduced data set in my table where I can see an interim target, a target year, and the current percentage. I could right click and export this either as a PDF or data or an image. When I want to remove any of my filters, I can simply click on them one at a time at the top or remove all of them by clicking here. The second page you can see it looks very similar, but instead now we're looking at GHG reduction targets. This data will not be updated quarterly, but will be updated annually as the previous version of this tool was. On the bottom right, you can see companies, uh, a count of companies with progress towards their GHG reduction target. It should be noted that it's quite common for a company to have more than one GHG reduction target. So whereas they may have met one of them, they may have another one that's still active, or in some cases, they may have more than one target that are still active. On the top left, I can look at companies that are aiming to achieve a certain percent reduction. So for example, the most aggressive targets would be at this 50% range, and that would give me a reduced data set here that I could look at. The newest piece of this tool is on the third page where we have a map of the number of NEO network members with load and given geographies, that's the heat map on the left, and then an indication for the geography selected of uh, how much load that company has. So for example, if I zoom in to the US and then zoom in further to Illinois, I have an indication over here of those companies with load in Illinois and whether they have small, small, medium, 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 large, or large load. This is relative. Uh, we do not provide exact figures and numbers for load of our CNI members, but this do does give some indication of the scale of the load for these companies. Similarly, I could filter to only include companies that have data in the Fortune 500 and RE100 data set, which means they're likely to have a corporate goal or a target. From there, I could filter down to companies with the largest bucket of load. And then when I return to the previous pages, my filters will still be applied and I could continue to filter down and identify companies that have load that may meet a project that I'm trying to market. Lastly, Again, with these same filters applied, I can see if these companies have executed a publicly announced power purchase agreement. And on the final page here, I can see where those uh, projects are located. And finally, on the very last page, I have a list of all the companies in the Fortune 500 and RE100 data set included in this tool with a sustainability website and some indication of what they've publicly claimed that they have done in terms of renewable energy procurement, whether green tariffs or green supply, rec purchases, 
PPAs, and on-site renewables. If you have any questions about this tool or any others under the market analytics section, don't, don't hesitate to reach out to anyone on the NEO Network team.